In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down Paul George and how you can play just like him. He is a very good player and he is single-handedly keeping the Clippers in this year's playoffs. I hope that this video helps you become a better basketball player. So first off, if you are receiving a screen and then the hedging player switches off on you, do a quick step back, create that space, and you should be able to get that shot over top of him. So basically when you come off the screen, if you notice that the hedger is here and you literally do not have a player who is currently defending you, what you need to do is attack that hedging player. Especially if you're coming off of a screen, this is going to be a mismatch for you. You're going to be quicker, so he's going to be generally giving you space. If he gives you space, what you can do is a quick step back, pull up for that shot, and you'll be all set. Meanwhile, if he was playing you tight, what you should do is attack the basket, either get yourself a basket, draw on a help side defender and kick it out, but if he's giving you space, do a quick step back and you can jack up a shot and get very successful from that, just like that. Another very good move you can do is a quick attack, one or two dribbles, and then take a quick step back. By really attacking quickly, what you're doing is essentially getting that defender to back off of you because his momentum is taking him in that direction, and of course a small push doesn't help or doesn't hurt at all. So when you do that, just quick step back and you'll be wide open for the shot. Also don't be so caught up with taking threes if you're a foot inside some coaches will say that's a bad shot but at the same time if you're wide open like this you need to take a shot like that you don't want to either create a travel by trying to get behind that three-point line or passing up on an open shot because if you were to pass up on an open shot and let's say there's not much time left on the shot clock as we see here then what's going to happen is now sure he can get a three-point shot but it could be contested by this player Player. and if that's the case this is a much better shot than this would be if it's contested also being able to attack the basket and then drawing in the defense and then kicking it out for an open three-point shot is very useful for your team so as we can see in this man defense we see a player helping down this player is helping out that leaves Kawhi Leonard wide open perfect positioning as well so that now Paul George can kick that ball out and get himself an assist and his teammate a three-point shot. So here we see him getting a switch and we actually see Rudy, Rudy Gobert this time playing a lot tighter on Paul George. Now this is going back to my point last time at the beginning of the video which is attack that player who switches off if he's playing you tight. Now really quickly when you attack this player you always want to try and attack that top foot the reason for that is now he has to take the time to move that foot down to continue with you so that you can at least have a contested shot or layup. Now that's what Paul George does. He attacks that top foot and then he's able to do something very smart and that is using that rim and mesh to his advantage. And what I mean by that is he doesn't want to go up on the right side. Rudy Gobert is going to block the living daylights out of that ball. So he wants to pull up on that far left side. The reason for that is Rudy Gobert is not allowed to touch the rim or the mesh. So by going up for that left-handed layup, what's essentially happening now is he can use his body to protect that ball and he's also using that mesh and rim to protect the block which then doesn't allow Rudy Gobert to get that block. Now in this next play we see Paul George attacking the basket, attacking again Rudy Gobert and now what we see here is it's a fast break we see Rudy Gobert have to pick him up because nobody else was so what does Paul George do he does a quick in and out dribble towards the top foot so that he can continue on that right side now from there we see Rudy Gobert trying to take a charge he should have just flopped at that point but he didn't now if he actually flopped he would have probably got the charge call and of course we see a lot of players upset with this call saying oh that's that's clearly offensive. See, like, he, he's mad, right? So what we want to see is if Rudy Gobert could have jumped in front of him and taken a charge right there, it would have been offensive. But because Rudy Gobert lifted up that foot, and how you can, as a player, do this as well, is by leaning back and also trying to push up with your left shoulder on Gobert. Now, Gobert isn't exactly straight up. He's quite leaning, quite far leaning here. So by lifting up, up into his body 
what you're doing is now lifting up his feet. He's going to be less inclined to take that charge and more inclined just to follow you with his feet, which will then get you the foul or get him the foul and you some free throw shots. So here we actually have a staggered pin down screen for Paul George. Paul George steps up to the three point line and he takes that quick shot. Nobody's able to really block this shot. So why is this so good? Well, actually, watch. He hops off of his left foot and then he goes left right into that shot he's caught the ball on his right foot which allows him to step around with his left foot but also hops into it see that small quick hop that allows him to get his body in line with his shooting form so that now when he goes up for a shot it's like a set shot so here coming off of that screen left hop left plant right now when he's caught it he can do a hop he can take a step so he hops into a two foot plant and that will allow him to line up his feet so that now he can go up for that shot that's a very very good move so here's another good way to use a screen so here we see Paul George receiving that ball doing a quick jab step towards this side which then gets that defender to be down on his heels on that side so that now he could push off to go towards that side of course if Paul George was going to but because Paul George faked away from the screen that created a little bit of space he can then use that screen and set himself up for again an open three and again watch how he does it right hop so he can get his feet set and then he goes up for that shot if you're looking to come off the screen towards your left side and you want to take that shot, try hopping into it so that you can get your feet in line. Sometimes that will allow you to shoot at a higher percentage. Paul George is a very good basketball player. Make sure to go check out all of the equipment that I use down in the description below. If you're looking to really improve your shot, check out that weighted basketball that I have down there. A lot of NBA players love those types of devices, the heavier basketballs, because that will allow them to have a stronger shot. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.